Hello, Paul Richards here from PTZ Optics. Today I'm going to show uh, everyone how to connect the PTZ Optics camera to the network and access it over your network. So it's actually quite easy, and that's uh, one of the beauties of the PTZ Optics cameras. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to download our IP address setting tool. And what that's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to search our network for all the cameras that are on the network. So go ahead and I open up the tool, and what you, all you have to do is click the search button. And I've clicked search, and I can see I've got two unique IDs here with two different IP addresses. So I have here, um, where is it? Here we go. I've got IP address 192.168.11.87 and .88. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, a tool here that I've actually already opened uh, both of these cameras. So as you can see here, um, I've actually got a live video preview of each camera. And then I've got um, the ability to pan, tilt, and zoom. So this is actually being served directly off the camera itself. So um, the camera is serving up this IP address, set as a static IP address, and I've got control over two different cameras. So that is uh, the way that works. This camera um, in our boardroom here has been set with our super slow PTZ control. And uh, you can see here that uh, I can actually set the pan and tilt speed. Um, so if I set that, I can now pan and tilt around the room a little faster. Now let's take a look at the different options that we have once we are actually in the, um, the, the system here. So the first thing we have is the ability to change the video format and the resolution of our IP streams. So you can set it for 1080, 720, 568. We can change the bit rate, the frame rate. Um, we can do a secondary stream, uh, which is either 720 by 5, 576 or 320 by 240. We can set the frame rate there. Uh, we can also change the image, um, image settings. So I can change the brightness a little bit, uh, which actually looks kind of nice. Uh, change the saturation to hair. And then click apply and the camera will actually reboot itself and apply those settings. Now we have some area for the audio because PTZ Optics does have an audio input. So this is where we can change the sample rate, the bit rate, the line level in, and the volume at which we're using. Here's where we can set up our RTSP uh, SDK or multicast and this is where we can change the username and password to get into this this system uh, I actually skipped that step because I was already logged in But there is a username and password for the first time that you sign in by default. It's admin admin So this is where we can do our RTSP and RTMP streaming so this is our fixed IP address here our gateway or DNS our Mac address these are the ports we're using for RTSP. And then down here, this is where we can set up our first RTMP stream and our second RTMP stream, um, which we were, we were changing the video resolutions on the other page. Uh, we can also set up ONVIF and multicast. So this is just a little bit, this tells us the software uh, firmware that we, we're, we're editing here. And that's just a full overview of what we can do. So. That's the camera, and as you can see, we have multiple cameras here. Now, what, I'm, what I want to show here is I want to show our open source control software. So on this page, we actually have, this is our open source control software. And all I have to do is type in the IP address of the camera I want to control, which currently is 88. And now I'm actually panning and tilting this camera. Uh, again, let's go ahead and change the PTZ features to a little faster here. Issue another command, and you can see it's moving faster. So we can PTZ around. Now this software on the left is completely open source. So that means you can take this software and you can change it, uh, which is quite nice. Um, 
You can put your own logo here. You can have it control two, three, or four cameras on the same page. And basically, you get everything that's on this built into the camera with an open source control software that you can edit and change. Uh, so I just have this hosted on my computer here. The open source software is available right here on our website here. You can download it, play around with it, do whatever you want with it. So uh, you can call presets. We have different presets on this camera. Um, you can do pretty much anything you want. You can name these presets to make it easier for your uh, end users. And um, pretty much just take control of the camera in various different ways. So we've reviewed getting the camera on your network. Obviously, plug it into your network. We've reviewed finding the um, camera on your network. Now, finally, if you need to set a static IP address, you can actually do that here in the config area. So you would just change the IP address here. You would select um, the camera you'd want to change and put in the new IP address. So we have a separate video on that, so I won't go through it completely. But I just wanted to show the different tools of getting a PTC Optics camera on the network and uh, being able to control them over the network. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.